All right, hey, hello everybody. We are gonna do a quick test here. Somebody asked if you can burn um, paraffin lamp oil with my round cotton ceramic. So we're just doing a quick little test here. So I have my ceramic core uh, ceramic wick holder and I have my 3 16 hollow core and we have some paraffin lamp oil and we're gonna see if this is gonna work so let's see here take out our funnel we're going to pick this up drop it in do that there do this here one-handed not very easily okay we're gonna let that sit for a minute begin to soak up we'll probably do a little shaking up and down to get it nice and wicked and I'll go grab a lighter and we'll come back to it all right, we're back to it. I've let this sit for probably about a minute and a half. I went and I dried any spilled fuel. This is just for demonstration purposes only. Please do not do this at home. If you do this at home, you agree to do indemnify, defend, and hold me harmless from any damage or personal injury or death that results. Please don't do this at home. This is just a test for a customer. Highly improvised mason jar with a ceramic and I just drilled a half inch hole so that can sit a little bit inside of there. So 3 16 hollow core, let's see what happens here. Oops. Oh, it's pretty windy here. Pretty windy. There we go. All right. So the problem with these small diameter wicks is they do not do well in wind. So you can see here that it appears to hold a flame. We'll let this go for a minute or two to prove that it's actually pulling fluid. When the customer asks the question, I wanted to just initially say yes, but you know what? I always like to do tests if I've never used a fuel before. So that's um, paraffin lamp oil in my mason jar candle. And I would not recommend making this mason jar candle. I just uh, threw this together real quick. I didn't have a wine bottle. Normally you'd use these uh, ceramic plugs in a wine bottle. But that looks like it's working well. Very low smoke. Not a terrible odor. I can see why people use these in indoor lamps because they don't produce a lot of smoke and it doesn't smell terrible. Not as bad as kerosene. Kerosene definitely produces a very strong odor. So this is looking good. I would say it's definitely burnt through whatever fuel could have been sitting there in the top of the wick and it's now beginning to pull. And so we are having wicking action. So I think I can reply back, yes, this definitely works. I'll let this go during dinner and let it just keep running and I'll come back to it. All right, so this has been going since uh, whole dinner time. Uh, hardly using any fuel, very efficient. So we're gonna call this a success. Uh, you can definitely use 3 16 hollow core cotton wick with a ceramic plug in a mason jar candle. Next I will try a flat cotton wick. All right, so we're gonna do a quick swap here. We are gonna be swapping out for our flat cotton wick. So. It's nighttime now, but I want to get this video done. I waited a few days and I want to make sure I get that question answered. So here we go. It's flat cotton. We'll do a quick swap. Okay, we're now running with the flat cotton wick. You can see that there is flat cotton wick. Give it in just a few seconds to. There you go. Alright, so we're going to let this go for a little while, make sure it's actually going to pull fluid and. Then 
So I think I'll leave this inside of the barbecue running for a little while to prove that it's actually working and pulling fluid. So we'll leave, leave this going and we'll come back to it. All right, we're gonna continue the test here. Uh, I tried to do this last night, but the light conditions weren't quite right. So what I did here, we'll see if this lights back up again. I have a flat cotton wick in the ceramic. This is just a quick testing rig, just to answer a couple customer questions. I don't like to say yes, you can burn some fuel if you, unless I actually do testing. So this is a test with the uh, paraffin lamp oil. It's been sitting overnight, so this will be a really good test to see if this actually will relight. This has been sitting in my barbecue overnight. We're looking good. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, so we'll let this go for a while. I'm going to assume it's wicking just fine because this has been sitting all night, so clearly it's been pulling fluid up to the top. So we're going to go ahead and let this burn for a while, and we'll come back to it in about 5 or 10 minutes to verify that it's still on. And if it's still on, then it's definitely been pulling fluid from down here. So we're looking good so far, and we'll come back to you. All right, we're coming back to it. This has been burning for about 10 minutes doing great you can see here we have flat cotton wick this time in my ceramic wine bottle plug it's just a testing rig to test for a customer real quick in the mason jar and I drilled a 5 8 inch hole that allowed me to put in the ceramic plug so there you go that works just well doesn't look very nice though I would recommend getting a wine bottle I just needed something quick and I didn't have a wine bottle handy so I think we're gonna call this a success uh, there's no reason you cannot burn uh, both my flat cotton wick and the 3 16 hollow core round cotton wick um, with the paraffin oil. So it's also very nice. No smoke. Look at that. I can see why they use this for indoor use. And it smells like a candle. Yeah, it smells exactly like a candle. So that's a lot more pleasant for indoor. I can see if you wanted to run a lamp indoor, this is definitely the way you would do it. This right here is just a testing rig. Please do not duplicate this. This is only for testing. If you do this, you indemnify, defend, and hold me harmless if anything goes wrong uh, against injury or property damage or death. Anyway, sorry about that. Just gotta cover myself. <laughs> anyway, I wanna say thank you very much to all of my customers. Um, this has been absolutely fantastic and I really appreciate it. And so when I see a question, a great question from a customer and I don't know the answer, I don't just say yes, I do testing. So here you go, definitely works, no problem. Uh, the only thing I've found that is incompatible is running fiberglass wick with a natural olive oil. If you're gonna burn olive oil or a similar vegetable oil, I think you need to use something like a cotton wick like this flat cotton wick works very well with olive oil however fiberglass wick does not burn olive oil for some reason burns everything else just fine but not not all olive oil anyway we're gonna wrap it up I'm rambling here everybody have a great week and thank you very much for your great questions from my customers everybody have a good week bye